what the fuck is the Grammys talking about? No, seriously. What the fuck are the Grammys talking about? It seems like they're the only ones that could be so right and so wrong at the same time that it fucking pisses me off. It's like your spouse got you your gift that you wanted, but it's a fucking your mom's funeral. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know how harsh that is to get a fucking gift you always wanted, but they present it at your fucking mom's (laughs) funeral? That's my dark twisted humor. <laughs> uh, no, seriously though, what the fuck is the Grammys talking about? Like, the Grammy nominations came out today, uh, 2021 Grammys, and as expected, it ruffled everyone's feathers. So, I'm gonna just break down some of the things that stood out to me, some things I agree with, some things I don't agree with. Yeah, so let's get into it. All right, the first thing I always go to when I look at the Grammys is album of the year. I want to see what they felt were, you know, just the best of the best. Uh, so they have Janae Aiko, Black Pumas, Coldplay, just some people. I don't even know. I'm not even reading this whole thing. But, like, Taylor Swift folklore is not out. How come Taylor Swift gets fucking nominated for album of the year every single album? I'm fucking tired of it, bro. The music's not even that fucking good. Just put the nominations on the side of me. Okay, so they'll be over here somewhere. But as you can see, none of these shits hit. None of these shits impacted culture at all this year. Like, completely. And I get it. It was a music drought this year. It's 2021 through a fucking pandemic, COVID, job loss, everything. Fucking everything. But you can't tell me these albums are fucking album of the year. And I want everybody in the comments to let me know. Like, I could, I'm, I'm good with being wrong. Like... Coldplay, Everyday Life. Coldplay didn't make... Who's listening to Coldplay in 2020? (laughs) It's going to be 2021 and we talking about a fucking Coldplay album. And again, which I hate to sound like the fucking nitpicker, but can we get some fucking... Can we just get hip-hop in the fucking album of the year? We We run everything. Culture. Radio, video, awards, all of this, the main shit is us. And we don't get fucking credit for nothing, bro. Like, they didn't even nominate The Weeknd for album of the year. He's nominated none. None. The whole fucking, the whole fucking nomination of the Grammy, The Weeknd is nominated zero times. And he's literally the only, he's only the biggest artist. Let me rephrase that. The Weeknd... During the pandemic, The Weeknd is the one of the major big artists that actually acted like a big artist in the pandemic. Nice videos, nice uh, late night performances, nice uh, award show performances, nice album. And they shut out him completely. When I saw that, I said, oh, he must have pissed off somebody higher up. Well, not higher up because... He must have pissed off somebody in the Grammy organization. And then I read the article of, uh, I don't even give a fuck about his name, but one of the higher-ups in the Grammys, and he says that, you know, we go through this strenuous process of, you know, picking artists and albums that should be nominated and songs and blah, blah, blah. What I got from it was that weekend shit wasn't good enough. But you mean to tell me we got, I'm not going to say Heim, because I love those. I love them. But... Post Malone, Hollywood's bleeding. We put that up there, but we're not going to get uh, The Weeknd. Jacob, what the f- I don't even know what that is. Like, <laughs> like Black Pumas, what is that? <laughs> like, and Weeknd can't get nominated. He had one of the biggest songs, the biggest album. I think he only sold under Pop Smoke and Lil Baby, maybe? Fact check me. But I think he only sold under Pop Smoke and Lil Baby. But speaking of... Pop Smoke only gets one fucking nomination for Dior as the fucking, uh, let me find it here. Yeah, he only got, not Pop Smoke only got nominated one time, and that was for best rap performance on Dior. What? Pop Smoke had one of the highest selling greatest albums of the year. Like, put some respect on his name. Respect the, de- come on, man. Like, and 50 Cent said this. He said, like, damn. Grammys ain't going to fucking acknowledge Pop Smoke just because of the type of music he makes. 
And it got me thinking about when 50 Cent lost Best New Artist to Evanescence. I could end this right here. 50 Cent lost Best New Artist to Evanescence. Do you know how big 50 Cent was when 50 Cent came out? Fuck out of here. Uh, it's just... Boo, where are they? They don't even exist anymore. And they were never bigger as Get Rich or Die Trying. Are you fucking... I feel like the Grammys have a... It's like we got to make this safe. Like, this is the safe awards. Like, we can't have the wild... Like, Kanye is the most unsafe thing to the Grammys. It's like when Kanye is the most unsafe thing that they can have there is like nuts. Like so they're not gonna acknowledge the the little babies, the 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 pop smokes. Rowdy Rich. I mean Rowdy Rich got some nominations, but he should be nominated for album of the year. He should be nominated for song of the year. No, he is nominated for song of the year. What is it? Record of the year. Record of the year, he got nominated for Rockstar, but the box should have been in record of the year as well. I don't think anybody I think that was the biggest song of the fucking year. Besides Blinded by the Lights by the weekend, the box was, I still hear that fucking sound in my head, right? <laughs> like, I just hear that in my head. You can't tell me that that's, fuck it. And we get to Best New Artist, and we don't have Rowdy Rich, we don't have Pop Smoke, we don't have Little Baby, and we don't have The Baby. You know who they put in new art, Best New Artist, Tanya? D Smoke. If you can, you can't tell me this shit ain't, excuse me, you can't tell me this shit isn't fixed. What the fuck are we talking, yo, I'm gonna I'm say this now, and I'm gonna sound like the biggest fucking hater on the world right now, where is it, where is it, where is where's best rap album, D-Smoke is the average rap artist like it, he sounds like a knockoff Kendrick Lamar and I know I'm gonna come off as the biggest hater in the world but you can't tell me he wasn't even the best on that fucking show stop playing bro like I get it it's all political connects it's who you know it's not about quality of music it's not about it's not about impact I thought it was about impact because fucking Adele could her impact is strong. She gets nominated every time for an album, and it don't even be good sometimes, and it's just off impact. But you mean to tell me when rap, rap kept music, hip-hop kept music alive this whole pandemic, you bastards. Like, show respect, man. Like, anyway, I'm going to get it. So the next category I usually go to is best rap album because I want to see if they get it right. And, you know, with this year, nominations, D Smoke, Freddie Gibbs, uh, J Electronica, Nas, and Royster Five Nine. Cool. Thanks for the. Uh, it's like, <laughs> oh, I hate this shit. It's like, I love lyricists. I love, I love Royster Five Nine. I love Freddie Gibbs. I love J Electronica. I love Nas. But you're not telling me these are the rap albums of the year like it's it's not true it's not true in any form of fashion fucking Nas album's not even the best Nas album fucking Jay Electronica album is a fucking he's getting washed by Jay-Z the whole time only one I really show respect for is Freddie Gibb and Alchemist for Alfredo but you bastards are like killing me bro you're killing me with this shit <laughs> you're killing me <laughs> Like, come on, bro. They have D Smoke nominated for fucking rap album of the year. It's not a fucking soul on this fucking planet Earth who could tell me a song off D Smoke's album. Not one. Not Netflix couldn't tell me a fucking song. Stop playing. Like, stop fucking playing. Rowdy Rich, uh, Lil Baby. My turn by Lil Baby's probably the. I'm not even going to get into it, bro. You can't tell me that these. Every person nominated for Best Rap Album of the Year is over 35 years old. That's not even the way hip hop set up. Thank you for acknowledging these old niggas, but that's not the way hip hop set up. I love the allegory by Royster 59, but it's not fucking even close to top albums of the year as far as hip hop. Stop playing. Stop playing, bro. This shit is sickening, bro. Like, you got Best RB albums and it's no women nominated at all when brandy tr probably dropped the biggest r&b album this year and you got uh tiana taylor who dropped the you 
got fucking Aunt Clemens nominated for R&B album of the year. You don't even know who that is. You can at least not acknowledge the females in <laughs> like in some type of form of R&B album of the year. Like females have been keeping R&B alive for the past three years, nigga. Summer Walker, uh, Ari Lennox, Tiana Taylor, uh, Janae Aiko. You gave her a record album of the year nomination, which is Kaylani. That's probably it. That's probably like the main scissor. Those have been like the main batch that's literally been keeping R&B afloat. These fucking male artists, R&B artists are making rap albums, you fucking. <sighs> Let me move on. And then. Okay, so today you have everybody, they, they announced it, so you get all these, like, people angry, you get all these people happy, obviously. Justin Bieber's mad. You gotta do something wrong if you got Justin Bieber mad, but you know what he's mad about, Tonya? He's mad that his album wasn't nominated, for, or songs wasn't nominated for none of the R&B categories. <laughs> this nigga made yummy and said, yo, this ain't a pop song, this is an R&B song. I've been listening to R&B. This is the shit I'm talking about. Like... The Grammy's so wrong, they got Justin Bieber mad. <laughs> like, Justin Bieber's like, I dropped the RB album, y'all keep nominating me for pop shit. This is so, this is how, I won't even say out of touch no more. I, I, I really feel in my heart of hearts that they sit in these fucking meetings and their goal is to piss people off. I just feel that. I love Beyonce, but Black Parade, record of the year, are you fucking kidding me? Song of the year? I haven't heard Black Parade till today. <laughs> like, and that may be a knock to myself, just be, just whatever you may think of that. But it's like, no, nigga, this can't be the record of the year and song of the year if it's not heard. It doesn't make any sense, bro. Beyonce has eight nominations and she didn't even put out an album. That shows me that strings are being pulled. That shows me that this shit is just corrupted, bro. And I love Beyonce, but come on, bro. They probably... Beyonce have eight nominations and probably lose every single one of them. That's the extra kicker of the Grammys to me. Uh, yeah, you put Black Parade over Blinded by the Lights by the weekend, and that's kind of nuts. That's fucking nuts. I'm going to just throw the paper down, bro. Uh, this is probably the longest Tatum take. But as I'm reading the Grammy nominations, and you know, I can't be mad at this point anymore because this, I, I expect this. Uh, for me, though, as just a black man, <laughs> I feel like I'm just speaking to my culture right now. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just going to speak to my culture. I feel like how long are we going to give the culture, the control of the culture to people who don't care about it, for lack of better words? Like, I shouldn't be this riled up about the Grammys because I know they're they're just always wrong. I used to watch the Grammys and... Because it's a fucking, it means it's the it's the biggest award you can get for your art as a musician. Like it's, it's the, it's just it. It's the Grammys. I can't even compare it to anything. It's the Grammys. I just feel like man, not saying that we don't need them, or, you know, let's start our own thing and we should we should do that and we have that we have the BT Awards we have all these things but. Just period as artists, man. It should be like an artist thing, bro. Like these these people don't they don't care. Like they just it's like when you get older and you see the fucking shit for what it really is for what it really is, and you see the 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 the, the curtains pull back, and what you thought was great is not really that great. It's just it's just I don't know. It's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like I remember moving here and visiting here one of the first things i did was go to the grammy museum <laughs> like that was one of the that's literally the one of the first la things i i did because i love music so much and i love i just love artists and i love i just love music i i love what the grammys represent as a fucking plateau of so many great artists bro like acknowledgement of so many great artists but i just feel like they at a certain point, you got to stop playing. And I feel like they just, 
they just playing. Like, for one of the heads to come out and say some shit, like, basically, for lack of better words, the weekend music was just wasn't good enough. We went through, it's a, it's a, it's a long, drawn-out process, and we, we take this seriously with the voters and blah, 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 especially with the big four categories. Like, at a certain point, you have to, what's going on in real life, life has to matter at some point. Like, we can't fake it. Like, we, you can't, because when you do, you write this fucking thing in history where we just keep going to acknowledge. And I'm just speaking for me, for my culture. I'm speaking for hip-hop. I'm speaking for black people. I'm speaking for that. Like, get mad if you want. But I'm just speaking for that right now. And it's like, dog, you going to shun and snub the weekend? <laughs> like, huh? You going to, little baby don't get nominated as much as he, <sighs> okay. The baby, we don't get, Pop Smoke, not best new artist. You nominate fucking Travis Scott highs in the room. That song's a trillion years old. Uh, it's just, it's just stupid shit, man. That is just exhausting. Like, I'm exhausted of getting tired. Like, every year it's like, yeah, next year we'll get it better. And it's like an abusive relationship. Like, don't keep beating me and say that you're going to change. Just change. Like, you see your faults. You see it. Like, you see it. And even if, like, who's the head head that's, like, when they see all this shit and they like, okay, we approve this. Like, where's that guy or girl? Like, y'all got to, when shit don't make sense, it should be a person in there from the music industry or whatever this fucking organization of the Grammy Recording Academy is. I'm like, no, that's not right. You mean to tell me the biggest artist of the year? quintessentially that's like saying it's like saying michael jackson makes and i'm not comparing the weekend to michael jackson's thriller but just hear me out it's like saying michael jackson obviously is the biggest artist this year with thriller but we he doesn't get nominated <laughs> like, he's literally the only pop artist that's been keeping i explained it already he's literally the only big artist that's acted like a big artist during the pandemic and that says volumes, bro. He just had a song that's added to radio right now. Like, that made plus 30-something. I don't know what it was. I can, I'm just, you know, <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> but he literally just placed another song from his album on the charts right now, bro. Like, you stop disrespecting the culture. Like, what is your point? What is our point of even caring about? You're fucking award show. Like, I, I can't be mad when I see fucking, like, Kanye pissing on Grammys and blah, blah, blah. Because it's like, man, them niggas, don't, they don't care about us. They don't. And I mean us. I mean musicians at this point. Artists, they don't care about us. We just fucking promotion tools for their show, for their trophy. <laughs> like, we're literally promotion tools for a trophy. So, I don't know, man. In closing, I just feel like either get it right or just stop. Like, stop fucking doing this to artists. Stop fucking doing this to consumers. Stop doing this to fans. Stop doing this to yourself. Like, you take one step forward, but take ten steps backwards. Just get it right one time. Can it just be one time you get it right? Just one in my lifetime I would love to see. But um, other than that, that's my fucking take. I'm going to stop right here because I get sad about me. <laughs> Uh, that just shows you how much I care about this shit. Like, I really care. Like, and I just get sad when I see people who have control don't care. So, that's it. Uh, hope it didn't come off too sad. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Do you think the Grammys got the nominations right this year? Do you think, do you think I'm just being too harsh? Do you think I'm fucking overreacting? Am I just being a fucking music brat? Am I... Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of Grammy lovers and artists of fans of artists who I've never even heard of but got <laughs> nominated for record in album of the year. Uh, disliking this. So let's just conversate about it. I'm Tatum. This is my take. Fuck the Grammys.